Now welcome to this channel where we will give our Gwonge updates on what's in the apple for Biafran territory as the Islamic State in Tagbege, now White Prime Minister State yesterday, 28th, 3rd, 2024, the Biafran Liberation Army engaged the Nigeria terrorist at HG Nigerian Army who came to buy Biafrans. After the fight, the video is here from the Nigeria side. The Liberation Army dealt with them. I will drop the video, but I will drop them in a very low key because YouTube know they like this kind of video. Another matter with my table now about Kenneth Okonkwo. Give those people sense of belonging they needed. How do you do that? When the war finished, you promised them reconciliation, rehabilitation, and reconstruction. Something years after you have come to National Assembly when whether you will do it. And these are property, properties, their hard end properties destroyed by Nigeria. Who told them to go that they don't want them to belong in the same country? Not that they wanted to go. They decimated our people and destroyed our properties. They promised reconciliation, rehabilitation, and reconstruction, and they failed. In the Northeast, it was the people from Northeast that became brainwashed and they destroyed all their things by themselves. And you immediately set up a Northeast Development Commission. Even before the crisis ends, even some of the ones that are built to rehabilitate are even still being destroyed. And going to 60 something years or there about or 50 something, you have not reconciled these people. Bring them in, give them sense of belonging, integrate them politically. Is it by accident that from 1966, when Thomas Omonaki Agui Major General, was decimated till today, Nigeria has been going down politically, socially, culturally, economically. Don't you think that if you integrate these people with their craft, with their engineering method, with their, with their natural resilience, don't you think they are going to recreate this country for the betterment of everybody? When you do such a thing that you promise you will do, when you rehabilitate them, when you reconcile them, by integrating them adequately into the political system and giving them what they ought to have. They are a majority tribe in this country. When you do that, reconciliation, rehabilitation, reconstruction, you will see those agitation die naturally. I am a nationalist, but I am a realist. So as I am believing in Nigeria, it has to be a Nigeria built justice and fairness. How would you think that the government of the day should handle the Inam de Kano matter? As a lawyer, I would not want to comment on a case that is before the court, but I think political settlement will go a long way to bring about lasting peace on that issue. If uh, Inam de Kano today is released and there is a political settlement, you think it will kill the agitation in the southeast? That's a hypothetical question. I may not be able to answer that. But you have opined this afternoon yes. that this idea of the Biafran agitation can be quelled yes. if people are reconciled. Then I'm yes. asking that the man who is at the forefront of that, this agitation, yes. you saying that a political settlement will help. Yes. And I'm asking you, is that a way to go? That's what I'm saying. If, for example, if an Amdekano is released. If you bring out one million persons and you still do not reconcile, rehabilitate, and reconstruct these people, you're still going to have a problem. Is uh, creating a sixth state in the Southeast going to be part of the well, world? Politically, what other means? Like I said, why wouldn't you constructively accede the position of the presidency to these people? To the well, southeast. Yes, it was done in 1999. If Peter B were to, if Peter B had become the president of Nigeria, yes. you think 
the Biafran agitation will die naturally. We're a long way. Really? Very well. We talked about June 12. It was becoming intractable. And Obasanjo became president. The ghost of June 12 was exercised. He told me we are to be president. The ghost of the Biafran agitation will be exercised. Trained as a reverend gentleman in theology. I was trained as a diplomatic gentleman in diplomacy. That was where I did my international law and diplomacy. And I was trained as a learned gentleman. You see, all these things are very conservative. And when you have all these things on your head, you must have to develop ways to unwind. So entertainment has always been my best way to unwind. That was how I chose the movie world, you know? Um, whoever subscribed to be an actor cannot say he's a saint. He cannot lay hand on being a good guy. So I wasn't a good guy when I was growing up. You know what I mean. I am an entertainer. You're a bad guy. Well, <laughs> I am an entertainer. You know what I mean. So, but which role so would you it say? It you to yeah. unwind very well. You know, you read, read, read. Your head is full. Then you go out and cavort and play. You know what I mean. Yeah. And your head is empty again and you're back to conservativeness. So, yeah. prized. But the truth is that all the rules will not leave my memory. And the reason is this. I make a choice of the movies I play. Really? Yes. I read all my scripts. So if it doesn't move me while reading the script, I'm not going to make a choice of it. All the movies I made, I remember all of them. So... They made impact on me first. Name them. Is it living in bondage? Is it betrayal? Is it taboo? Is it culprit? Is it world apart? Is it Ganigwe? Is it ROC? Whichever one. Because I will be convinced first in the world you're creating and in the lesson you want to communicate before. I accept the role. Mm. So all of them. But you would not negate the fact that by the law of preeminence, living in bondage has preeminence. And they say the first cult is always the deepest. So by virtue of that first cult, it was very deep. Mm. You know, it announced you. So you are still living in the bondage of living in bondage role. <laughs> I am delivered. <laughs> and you know, we did a sequel to the Living in Bondage in 2020, in 2020 yeah? And uh, you saw in that 2020, you know what they said? Breaking free. Hmm. So even with the concept of living in bondage, I am no longer living in bondage. <laughs> so I am delivered. You know? But be, being a ritualist mm -hmm. in a movie and being a priest, I've seen you act and being uh, a lover boy, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is more challenging to you. All of them. Because the whole idea of movie is like you are replicating the world and I play lead 98% of the time. And the world is full of ups and downs. Whether you're a priest, whether you are a prince, whether you are a saint, the world is up and down. So every of those roles was challenging to me because of the cyclical nature of human existence. So all of them... Mm. Mm. So, uh, if you were to kiss on, on the movie set, would yeah. you take it? Yes. I took it before. And you do it again? Anytime. Mm. If a doctor is supposed to operate on a woman, even if he's a born-again doctor, will he go in to do the job or not? Will she be wearing clothes? As a theologian, I imagine that maybe kissing might not be a very comfortable thing for you to act in. I am bringing the issue of the doctor to tell you about theology. When you are doing something in prosecution of your job, it, 
becomes your job, becomes your work. You want to replicate the reality of life. If you can't do it well, look for another profession. If you are a doctor and you say you're a theologian and you don't want to see naked women because you say that in the Bible they say don't see her nakedness, look for another job. <laughs> now welcome back to this channel. Kene to Kunko, they play all your life, eh? They play. No wake up to the reality. See that zoo, that place for destruction. All this one way Peter will be they do, they run up and down. With those if we, those full and ginger weed, they eat their breakfast and their supper with them and their dinner. That one I just I just story. We know say na Biafra or Biafra, nothing if he owed us. For this matter, me I will rest my case now. Thank you.